Hello and welcome, Paul here, and I'm playing Floris. Now, I'm trying to get my warband together so we can go and take out Wurchag, or at least wear him down a little. So, I need, I need men, I need warriors ready to fight. Now, I've run into these forest bandits. They have uh, about 28 prisoners. They're not very impressive, but there's a few mercenaries in there, so I figured I'd just capture them. That's the best way to go. Anyway, this should be a fairly quick battle. I hope. So when you have cavalry, the AI is a bit thick. So when there's a group of them all standing there, you know, they're just going to ride into them, come to a halt, and then that's it. There's probably orders I can give them, I've just never looked into it, but it doesn't really matter at this point. What does matter is that I get these guys rescued, and we take some prisoners so we can sell. Then I continue hitting up the various cities to recruit mercenaries, and we take another crack. That's Warjeg. So I do realise that things haven't been going as planned every time we attack, but I mean, this is my goal, is to go in there, have my archers do take out as many as possible, and then I will run in there, get out on the battlements, and do as much damage as possible. Now the reason why I go in is because even if they knock me out, as long as I've got troops alive, I can back out of the fight no problem. But if I just leave my archers in there, then I retreat. It's like a waste, because I could at least get a few more people taken out, you know what I mean? But, uh, yeah. That's just one of my thoughts on the matter. Anyway, we're going to head to Uxol, see if I can recruit a few people from the Rodot Republic. Any mercenaries ready for battle? That would be very helpful. 10 for 1500. Uh, huntresses, we need those. We need those. Okay, I've got some prisoners to sell here, forest bandits. Not worth too much, but it's uh, better than nothing, about 500. And I guess I'll make my way up to Sunno, and then we'll just swing around. Enemies on the horizon, do not see them. Just bandits over there, they got one caravan guard, not really worth me. Going over to help, although that would give me some experience, that's one thing I've got to keep in mind. Alright, I need... Alright, these are the guys I need, I need the archers. I need archers for this. Now, I'm going to hit Praven just because I need food as well. Then we're going to head back and take a crack at Wurchegg. I've got high hopes for this upcoming battle. Oh my god, these guys are so expensive. <laughs> 12 for 8,000. Uh, as much as I'd like to recruit these guys. That's 4,600. Ah, sod it. Basically, I can't afford to uh, get anyone else, so we may as well go put them to the test. See, I've got a lot of armoured mercenaries here. I feel like I should just storm the castle, but I know that won't work. I just know it. Anyway, let's head around the Wurchegg. What's going to happen is I finally take Wurchegg. Whoa, did I miss my payday? Yep. Crap. That's not good. Um, 
there's one solution here. Hit Sargoth. I've got money waiting for me in Sargoth. I'll go collect that. We're golden. If I don't, people are going to start leaving. 170 troops here. Oh, I could fill my party, but there's no need at the moment. As long as I don't run into any Nords, we're okay. Better get my beat stick ready. We've got a sneak in the Sargoth, and that never goes well. Okay. circles a few times. If I'm lucky I'll hit them. Getting a hit with the throwing dagger on there. There we go. Oh bugger they got me. I just don't get why I'm sne I've got a long robe, why can't I have a sword underneath it? I'm carrying throwing daggers, just give me a bloody sword. Really, what I need to do is beat them in a fight. Just kill one person, then immediately grab your shield or sword. I'm going to try that next time around I take someone, because all I've got to do is knock one person out, and then just run around until I can get to where I can grab it. Okay, so i got money waiting for me, that's good. Six thousands waiting for me here in Sargoth. I've just got to... Let me just upgrade everyone. Oh, I can't afford to. Okay. Let's try this again, shall we? At least I can see a little bit. Okay, we'll loot around one more time. I'll grab his gear and then we'll kill these guys. I should just do this every time. Definitely the easiest way. Unless they're waiting for me around this corner. Nope. Now we're talking. Alright, let's do this. Oh, bugger. Why did I get hit? Okay. Give me my money. Right. Quickly visit the tavern. Anyone here need a job? I would as much as I'd like to hire all them. We can't. Can't risk losing any more money because I'm going to lose people once I actually take Wercheg. Well, once I attack Wercheg. So. Enemies always on the bloody horizon. Oh, past the bridge. Is this the bloody farmer? Oh, let me go by. <laughs> you 
You know what my luck's going to be? There's going to be a big feast at Wurchek. So everyone's gathered there. Most likely. I probably just need mercenaries here. Let's go ahead and upgrade who we can. I actually don't have too many. So this is what I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't have too many archers this time around. So the question is, do I just hang out back or do I just rush in there and try to, you know, storm the battlements, but that's never a good idea. I definitely think that I don't have a good enough group at the moment in the sense that I don't have enough archers. I don't see how I'm going to do any damage at all. The smart thing would be to back off, but I've got this army here. I've got this army to put to use. Anyway, I've got a recon war check to see what's going on. Hopefully they haven't gone above 200, that would suck. Yes, they're slowly rebuilding, every time they're rebuilding. One of my troops is stuck there. I could go rescue him first. Alright, I'm going to have to sneak in again. Oi, you there! Oi, you there! Stop! Oh, it's a dead end. Oh, no! No! Run, Angle, run! Oh, it's this place, okay. Bloody great. Dodge, dodge, dodge. They're gonna get me. Oh, bollocks, I knew it. I've gotta rescue Jeremus before I continue. Because he's my medic, so if anyone gets injured, they're just gonna die. They're not gonna be knocked unconscious, which is bad. Then again, maybe I should just give it a go. Every passing moment is a time for them to build up. Okay, I'm just gonna pay to escape. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Alright. Let's do this. 217. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. See if my archers can do any good. Good thing is, if you look in the top right corner, you can see how everything's laid out. So, I mean, look at all these troops I've got. They're all, they're all can I get by anyone? There we go. Who actually does the damage when we charge? Like, really, who does it? Ooh, you know what I could do? If I were to just let them use up all their ranged projectiles, as they just keep throwing them, trying to hit me, and then I can charge with my mercenaries over there. That would be a bloody good idea. Why haven't I thought about that before? Dear lord. <laughs> what I can hear is... <laughs> They'll get tired eventually.
at some point, you figure, alright guys, we're not hitting him, stop wasting your ammo. Save your arrows, you know. Nope. This is quite funny, they've only hit me like, these first hits on my shield were the ones I took when I initially attacked. What I want to know is why the guy's still alive up there. March has failed the job. Where are they? Let's see if moving them over will help. This is like um, at the 300 where their arrows will block out the sun. I'm getting that vibe. No wonder we get slaughtered when we push up. Dear lord. How do they have that many axes? Really? Come on. It's these guys on the right which are worrying me. Sneaky hitting. I'm gonna move forward a bit, see if I can pull out some more. Yeah, less and less projectiles are coming out, there's just a few arrows now. I reckon we could charge this. I reckon we're gonna charge it. Guys, let's do this, eh? Let's do this. Too long we've wasted time here. Still got some fight left in them. Let's see if I can help. Where well, no, never mind. We're losing a lot of people. Our archers are still doing a good job though. Out of my way! Reinforcements come up behind me, I think. I've got to be careful. It's hard to see with all these arrows on my shield. doing this, I think we're doing this. Bloody to right. I like the 
like switching between the weapons. Oh yes, this is a beautiful sight. Nord corpses line the walls. Okay, let's take this. Let's take Wurchek. Finally. Off with his head. And you, sir. Last but not least. In the name of the Nord Rebellion, die. <laughs> I did not expect that to work. I did not expect that to work. Okay, well, we took some casualties, that's for sure. But hey, we gave them bloody hell. That's, oh god, it's a beautiful sight. Love it. Okay. First of all, prisoners, welcome to your new home. Okay, let, let's just... Oh, I can't believe I just did that. Oh my god. Alright, let's just... Let's just hire everyone quickly because we need to garrison this fort. I don't know how I'm going to get like get it, you know, protected enough before Ragnar comes with his 400 troops. But hey, we'll think of something. Uh, let's just hire everyone. Oh, I am so happy. I am so happy. All right. Well. Well. That was a hard fight, but we bloody did it. Okay. So, here's the thing. Last time, I told him to have the the town, you know, the castle, and he lost it straight away. Now, there's this other geezer, but I think it's best bets for me to have it. Okay, good, 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 good. Right. Now, if I can hold this... Now, I'm going to plunder the city, share the money with everyone here. Because I can get my relation up with this geezer, which is good. Alright, so we've taken this place, which is good news. Quickly visit the tavern. Anyone here? Okay, two of them. Yeah, that's expensive. Uh, expensive. <laughs> I probably should buy them, but we'll see. Okay, manage the garrison. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. We've got to. We've got to get people here. You know, people need to be defending this place. See, I, I feel like I should keep the cavalry people with me at the very least. Which I think I might do that. But leave infantry here. Cavalry I can take with me, a small group of uh, mercenary cavalry can eradicate, uh, you know, enemy bandits and so on so I can rescue more prisoners, that's my goal anyway. Now, while it would be nice to keep these people with me just to get them all leveled up and whatnot, there's no time. There is no time for any of that. That's it, now I'm committed. Alright, let's get some archers here. Oh, I can't believe we did that. mercenaries did a bloody good job, that's for sure. Now, let's see if we can hold it. You know the Nords are going to be coming here. There's not many defenders, so... It would be an easy take for the Nords. Mountain Bandits... They ain't much of a defender, but I'm just thinking about numbers. Get as many numbers as I can in this castle. I'll find out I've got to actually <laughs> pay for everyone. Accidentally giving up cavalry there. Just take that back. I do have a lot of mercenaries still, but as I said, step bandits, they're actually on horseback, but they're actually. We'll keep the anyone who's mounted. I think that's the best way to go about this. Good thing is I also took a few towns, so 
that means I'm going to be getting you know, an extra bit of money from these towns, which is always nice. Alright, so we've got a few defenders here. Good, good, good. I can't believe I lost my ship. Anyway. Alright, Wurchegg's got 47 folk here. That's not enough. I'm going to... Go to these little towns quickly. Recruit the Nords. And they're not going to be able to... They're not going to be much use, but to be honest, it's all about... It's all about just getting it loaded up with troops. I could have sworn it said I actually had a whole bunch of uh, villages, like three of them, but I only see two. That's probably right. Oh, shh. No. I think I'm faster. Provided I don't get cut off here. Yeah, I was laying waste to it, the bugger. I'd go fight him, but to be honest... It Okay, let's appoint someone. Let's, let's quickly swing by uh, Jayek here and just recruit some more troops. And then we'll just put these fresh-faced Nords into Wurchegg, or I could just hold on to them for now. Let them get one level. Because as soon as I get one, you know, Knight of Experience go through, that's going to be hopefully a full... Yeah, here we go, that's what I wanted. Okay, so it's not much, but they are ranged, so let's go ahead and dump them off in Wurchegg. There we go, beautiful, beautiful. That gives us 90 people defending, not well, 100 people defending in total. It's not much, I still need a lot more, but it's a good start. Very good start. Here's my Chancellor, my Lord. Yes, I like that. Okay, and I guess from here I can start looking at political alliances and so on. Anyway, that's it for now. Thank you for watching, and join me next time.